Hey, how you doing? Austin here. In this video, we're going to talk about four coins, four tokens that are currently skyrocketing and continue are going to continue to go up and up and up. This is uh, the continued type of videos that you guys have told me you wanted me to do, uh, where I give you kind of uh, really small snippets and cap and and just insight into these different ones. So I, I like doing these. These are fun. Okay. So let me know if you want me to continue to do these. Drop in the comments below. Would love to hear from you. Uh, and uh, and by the way, let me know if there's a particular uh, token or coin that you want me to look at. Okay. If you think that there's one that's just crushing it and you think it's go where it's got downstream opportunity, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. As always, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I need to make you aware I have my Patreon group. Here's the thing. I talk about this in every video for one simple reason. If you need help, want help, uh, you don't want to be alone in this crypto journey. You want me to help you. You can have direct access to me. You can get portfolio guidance from me. I'll take a look at what you have, give you nudges in the right direction, just kind of set you on the right path, if you will. Uh, you can you get access to my inner circle portfolio, which frankly, to me, is the kind of roadmap for what the baseline of, one, of a good one looks like. Uh, a lot of times when I give portfolio guidance, people have a lot more than what I have in the inner circle portfolio, but that's cool because um, I get to you know comment on that and help them and kind of guide them. And and, uh, and people usually have some pretty good ones and love to help people in any way I can. You get buy and sell trade alerts and hot crypto alerts because that's really what it comes down to. I actually give a damn about you guys. I really care about my subscribers and I care about those people that want uh, help and more help. So that's why I've created this. I've got a Discord community wrapped around this for uh, a lot of collaborative kind of, you know, just, you know, uh, community, if you will. And so if you're tired of being in this crypto journey alone and you want some help and you want to be have, you know, friends in this with you, then click on the links below in the description. Okay. So, hey, it's crushing it right now. The market has absolutely woken up. Uh, we've got Ethereum making a run. Uh, we've got Bitcoin waking up and things are starting to really look very, very interesting. NFTs are absolutely surging. DeFi is starting to surge again. There's a lot of really, really cool stuff that I want to talk with you about. Uh, but, you know, they're the top coins and the top tokens are doing very, very, very well. Obviously, we need to lead off with the fact that Ethereum is absolutely crushing it. Ethereum is my uh, largest holding that I have currently in my portfolio and uh, one that I continue to swear by. I liken owning Ethereum to a house analogy. I love owning the foundation of the house, okay? So that's why I love that and all the projects that are coming to, to evolve in the Ethereum world. I mean, let's just say it, Ethereum is continuing to astound. I've covered it in major, major videos and a lot of videos and different things, moving proof of work to proof of stake, Ethereum 2.0. There's just so much going on. Speaking of that, look at all this, like right here. With all this information, it's clear that there are inherent forces that will be driving up the price of ETH. And I didn't even mention potential trends like NFTs, gaming, yield farming, lending, DEX, Layer 2, and much more. Okay, All of that adds up to a very interesting scenario. Also right here, you had, when we had the uh, issuance of, uh, when, when EIP-1559 went into effect, it began the merge to proof of stake. We all know that. But what you may not have known has been over, there's been over 100,000 ETH burned. There's been 50,000, oh, 150,000, 100,000 ETH burned. Over 50,000 of, of that burned ETH has happened in the last five days. Why should you care about this ETH burn? Because as we roll forward, Ethereum is going to, the supply of Ethereum is going to continue to go down a little bit, right? Uh, which becomes a demand shock, okay? They're a demand shortage, if you will, which will continue to drive up the price of ETH. I've been saying this every single Ethereum video. This is happening. It's going to continue to happen. Ethereum most likely by 2023 could be to thirty to $50,000 per ETH. By, by 2023. By the end of 2021, could be to six or 9,000. Currently right here, right now, we have absolutely broken our previous all-time highs. Right here, okay? Uh, was it one year? Yeah, well, well I apologize. We have not. <laughs> Thought we had, it's, it's funny. Okay, I was wrong. Hey, you know, I call it when I had. I call it when I, I call it when, when, I, when, uh, when I see it. I thought we had, interesting, all right. I must have been asleep that period of time. My apologies. Okay, but hey, it's crushing it. Hey, I call I call myself out. There you go. Made a mistake. You can't say everything perfectly, Austin. All right, continuing on. But regardless, we had we've had a massive, massive surge today. Twenty four hour highs and lows. We've hit three thirty seven thirty seven seventy, and I think this this run will continue to happen. By the way, this run is is happening without the assistance of Bitcoin. Ethereum and Bitcoin are kind of doing like this a little bit. All right, the next one I want to talk about is one that I haven't ever talked about on my channel. It is Sushi Swap. Sushi Swap is 
on a tear. You can see by the chart, look at this. Look, This was the current uh, background, well, er, let's see, where are we at? Yeah, Wednesday, September 1, and look at this movement up. It moved up from 12 to all the way up here in the last seven days. Uh, right in here, we were trading at 1174, and now we are all the way up here in 13 plus range. Okay, so uh, I think this one's a very interesting, and one I've got a little piece of content I wanna show to you. Let's explore exactly how Sushi has gotten over 4.7 billion in TVL, been added to the Grayscale Trust, attracted 241,000 people trading on their decks, and distributed over 200 million back to all the users on the platform in less than a year. Pretty profound numbers if you think about it from how far Sushi Swap has come. So again, it's cool for me to highlight it and if it fits within kind of your profile, what you're looking to, to invest in, then hey, you know, give that a look and check that out. Polkadot is one that I have continued to talk about. I talked about Polkadot in a previous video the other day. Uh, it is continuing to run and run very, very nicely. I've got a piece of content right here that says, hey, Polkadot price will jump by 20% once DOT moves above this, this key support level. Right now, we are trading at 33.21. So right in here, let's see, let me see, hold on just a minute, bear with me. So once we get above the level of 29 to $30, hold on just a minute, I don't pre-read I don't pre -read these things, guys, so I'm just looking for that level. It looks as though the level is right around that $31 range which we of course have obviously crushed. Okay, so the key here is, is that there's some technical analysis that is interesting to look at from the standpoint that if we had gotten above this level, this article was written earlier today. Yep, 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 9-1. I'm trying to see if I'm in, Burrows took profit of person to get in the next level. Hold on just a minute. Tried to claim 31.76. Double top, yep. Oh, on May of on May twenty one, got that. So we have we have achieved and gone past that level again. I don't pre read these things, and I just kind of scan these and scan these and go through them. So it looks like we've got that. We've achieved that level. Obviously, we've got some support here at the twenty eight twenty nine level. So I think my point to you is is that we've achieved this level. We've got some really pretty significant bullish activity, bullish run moving here. I think we'll continue to move up. And this content looks like it's saying that, hey, we've achieved that level. We, we should see, even see a potential 20% move up from where we're at, which would move, continue to move up another four, five, six dollars plus from this kind of, from this current level. Cause we're already, we're already a little bit past that level that we, we uh, talked about. Okay. Final video. I'm sorry. No. Hmm. So what happens when you're trying to go fast, trying to get this in. Okay, final one I wanna talk about, I used to talk about on my channel all the time, VeChain. VeChain is on a tear. It's at 13 cents, up 11.8%. Volume's coming back into it, 42% plus, ranked number 20. I wanna look at something. Where does, where does VeChain, coin market cap? Do, 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 do. Yeah, right behind, I knew it was right behind Polygon. Uh, so it's got potential if it continues to run, it's running really, really nicely. Uh, Polygon is running as well, but VeChain looks like it's got a little bit more momentum right now. Okay, so right here, right now. So VET readies for itself for 20 plus percent gains. Okay, so VeChain, and this was written yesterday. So again, we're already, we've already moved into about, out of those 20%, this article's, this content's already showing itself to be proven right. Okay, so VeChain price has been a slow downturn over the past two weeks. It was. Investors can expect a massive breakout, breakout move that pushes VET by 20% to 1440. We're already more than halfway there, okay? Uh, and so we continue to could, could continue to see it moving up. The selling pressure produces a decisive four-hour candlestick close to 11, below 11 cents. It will invalidate the bullish thesis. I don't think we're even where near that. We are moving, moving, moving. A 24-hour highs has been uh, 13 0.86, 24 hour lows is 11.94. We're not even really close. So it's like we're continuing to move on. And again, as long as our overall momentum, which frankly right now is exceedingly strong, is showing me that we should continue to see these nice gains out of VeChain, okay? 
So again, overall, just wanted to give you guys an update on, on four coins that are A, currently just skyrocketing, and B, I think you have continued momentum to move up at along, right along with everything else in the overall crypto market. As always, appreciate yourself. <laughs> I can't talk today. I appreciate you. Thank you for your support. I'll see you later. Bye.